it doesn't matter where you start as long as you start somewhere and wherever you start you give it your all I've been seeing a lot of videos regarding how black men don't want to work a nine to five or supposedly or most men don't want to work a nine to five most men don't want to work a trade job and you know we, we've been conditioned and, and coddled in society where we think that we should all be sitting at a desk for eight hours behind a computer desk and everything should be easy type with our fingers and all that stuff which is why automation is going to take those jobs the first uh, uh, take those jobs first but I don't say that I, I'm not going to sit here and say that all men are this or all black men are that no because that, that's a damn lie we do know that Especially uh, with the, with the younger with the younger generations, the younger men, there is a there is a a resistance to doing hard things, certain hard things, right? Um, and I get it. You know, it, it's who the heck wants to do certain jobs? I think the issue comes in where young people think that they're above doing these jobs. Young people think that they shouldn't have to do these jobs. You think that you're too good for McDonald's. You think you're too good for Burger King. You think you're too good to clean windows, wash cars, do plumbing, do electrical. Any of that stuff. You think you're too good for it. You think that automatically based upon what you see on Instagram and, and, and all these other websites that you should just be able to show up somewhere, make a hundred grand and like a bunch of nonsense in my opinion but this is kind of what social media has kind of you know indoctrinated us as 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 people to believe especially the young people let me give information about myself right because oh wow they got not nice brownstones over here i've never been over here like that these are some nice properties that it looks like you would find in Brooklyn or something. And I'm, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back over here. Yeah, I'm gonna hit this whole side as soon as I'm done following up. I'm gonna hit this whole side. I hit this block last year. I could tell. Home Street. And I hit these houses over here last year. So I gotta come back over here this year. Uh, da, 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 da. So yeah. Um. So I just wanna see if anybody anybody's house was listed for sale. Which I, I don't see anything. Okay. Here's here's my here's my take on things, right? My first job, okay, really my first job was delivering papers. My first job was delivering papers, and I used to go on a bike. I used to have a bike. I used to go around my neighborhood, and I remember I had these two bags of both sides of the bike. That if I didn't hold up the bike properly, I was going down. And I remember I had to get up early in the morning back then. I mean, for I was I wasn't even a teenager. I was a kid, kid. And you know, thanks for my, shout out to my mom for really helping me through that um, endeavor. But that was my first job. Now I can't really consider that one because I don't remember too much about it. So I'll say my first first job was Burger King. I was uh, 15, 16. And it's funny because I got, I went to, and I'm going to tell my, my cousin this story too. I got the job at, well, no. I got, uh, started working as uh, Burger King because of summer youth employment. If you never heard of summer youth employment, it's something that, I don't know if they do it in other cities, but definitely here in New York City. Ooh, that house looks old. I've started collecting houses, the addresses of houses that look old, you know, so I just like, if it looks old, especially in Brooklyn, I just jot it down, send a letter, keep sending stuff out. Anyway. My first job was was Burger King. I got Burger King through S, uh, summer youth employment. Now, when I started summer youth employment and I first got to, I was like, I am going to work somewhere, but I'm not gonna just work somewhere just to work there. I'm gonna work somewhere where I believe I'll have an opportunity to work there afterward. And so there were summer camps, there were other cool places that sounded like they would be really interesting to work under, but I knew 90% of those places once the, the job was done for the summer, that's it. Burger King or any other fast food, I was like, they might they might have me work work after some youth employment. So I went with Burger King. I think McDonald's and Subway was on the list too, but I went with Burger King. 
and I worked at 161st Burger King and that was my first real real job on the books getting paid bi-weekly and it wasn't fun it, it was horrible most times but I worked at it like it was a million dollars I was getting paid because my my mindset I knew like if I do what I need to do here and I instill certain routines and habits and beliefs and mindsets I can take the same work ethic anywhere and I knew that and I, no one even taught me this I just knew that yo what I'm doing here is going to help provide for the future as long as I do what I need to do as long as I need to do what I, I do what I need to do here and use this as a stepping stone and that's what most young people are missing I think that's what most young people are missing out of work and, and growth these days it's the start somewhere start at the bottom and work your way up because in anything and everything in life you have to start at the bottom you have to start at zero I'm still in real estate because I understand that I put years into this practice. Years. Even if it's, it's not where exactly I want it to be. I'm so much further along than somebody that's getting in the business tomorrow. Or even people that's been in the business two, three, four, five years. Because I've been doing it for so long and I've been at it. Hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. So, my, my progression, my, my development, my understanding of the business it's so much further along than most others. Doesn't make me better in any way. It just means that I have a lot more experience. I have a bigger database. But I also understand that if I decided to go into insurance or another field, I start at zero. Now, technically, I could transfer my database to some degree and stuff like that. But for the most part, I get into something else. I'm starting at zero. I have to be understanding of that. I have to accept that and be okay with that because that's just what the game is. And so if you're starting off, or you've never had a job, you're starting off in a new career, a new field, you're starting off at zero. You are starting off at the bottom. You are starting off cleaning the fucking toilet. Excuse my language. That's what might be necessary for where you're at right now, because that's what you've earned. Nothing, you haven't earned nothing yet. You haven't been in it yet. So why should you be re rewarded with more for not displaying that you can handle more. You know, I think too often we have this microwave mindset where we think we're supposed to just, let me tell you something. The house I have on Baychester for sale, and I want to put up a video. The house I have for sale on Baychester. I found them, Mr. Scott, I, I found him in 2016. 2016, it's 2024. And now, eight years later is when he's ready. Eight years later. Imagine if I had quit the business two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, five years ago. I would have never been selling this house. I'm about to make 20 grand. Miss Brailsford. I found her. <laughs> I found her neighbor at the gym. And I happened to knock. I kept seeing her. Never said anything to her. I knocked on the door. It happens to be the neighbor from the gym. I introduce myself. I'm the guy from the gym. I see you every morning. Oh, I recognize you. Hey, by any chance I'm a real estate broker. Do you know of anybody selling? I'm not selling. Try them over there. This was 2014, 2015. This was a minute ago. 2024, now she's ready. Like nine, 10 years later, now she's ready. That's another 20 grand. This is not just overnight shit. So I just I just say all that because everything takes time. And you gotta start off at the bottom. Now, hindsight 2020. If somebody told me, if if, if, if folks told me where I would be at today, 11 years ago, I wouldn't have done it. I would have gotten a job. I would have gotten a job or I would have gone so much harder up front and been a lot more focused regarding what it takes. Um, anyway, it doesn't even matter. 
you know, uh, life has gone the way it's gone, and I, I take nothing back. I regret nothing. Um, I just want to give an insight into things take time. We have to start at the bottom. We have to start at, at nothing. We have to earn the ability to have a name, to have a place for ourselves or anything like that. So, thanks for tuning in. I don't know why the fuck this old man is looking at me like this. I can't even fault him. Old people, they just become nosy as fuck. You know, anything, anything and everything. <laughs> anyway, later.